see me part two um not actually a bad movie i mean I, it was good for for what they were trying to do they were trying to make a uh, basically a movie that they could make sequels off of i imagine um it was to me it was in in a way sort of like the uh the uh, fast and furious movies Fast and Furious started out as a movie about these guys racing these cars and this cop trying to catch this one guy that may or may not have been a criminal. Okay. Pretty good premise. Started out well and everything. But today, Fast and Furious is almost a spy flick. I mean, they're jumping cars from one building into another cars or flipping over cars they're blowing up cars and jumping out on the tarmac and rolling and surviving um revving the cars up and running and the cars are doing willies <laughs> it's it's a different movie now man it's like it started out as one vehicle of of entertainment and then it became another. So, yeah, that happened. And that's kind of what this is. This started out as four dudes, or four people, magicians, um, going to steal money from a guy to, to hurt him the way they believe he's hurt other people. And now, it's evolved. Maybe that's what I'm saying, it's evolved kind of the way the Fast and the Furious did. It was one movie and now it's a different movie. This movie was one movie and now it's like another movie. They have, um, they're kind of like espionage spies now. It's kind of what they were in the first movie but it's more to the point in this one. Um, Jesse Eisenberg uh, leads the cast and he's, he's good in this movie, he is. He's the, you know, he stops the rain. <laughs> what was that about? But he does, he does that. And he's good in this movie. Definitely better here than a giggling Lex Luthor in Batman v Superman. I liked him better here. I did not like him there. Here, good. There, no. No. So... He was good here. Um, Mark Ruffalo was in this movie also. And he's like the guy that, you know, unbeknownst to them, kind of pulled them all together. He's the guy that was behind the curtains pulling the strings. But it turns out, you know, maybe there's another guy or another guy or another guy behind him pulling more strings. So it's it, they try to make it intricate. But in trying to make it an intricate movie where there's several layers, it just becomes a muddy. It, it's hard, it's easy to follow, it's hard to understand. You're like, why is that guy with these guys? That guy's not supposed to be with those guys. What's going on with that? What, that, that couldn't possibly happen. Wait a minute, you arranged all of that in 30 minutes and you don't even have any money? It, you gotta worry about plot holes that are humongous. But the, um, the long and the short of it is, if you're just looking for some action, some explosions if you don't want a script that exactly makes sense yeah hey man this is a great movie you got a uh, Woody Harrelson is in the movie um, and his twin brother hmm. um, Dave Franco is in here and I think they're trying to make Dave Franco a a love interest you know I think they're trying to make him the sex symbol type guy but he's done, too, to me personally, he's done too many 
funny, goofy movies to be taken seriously as like a sex symbol. It's like Dean Martin, or not, Steve Martin. Steve Martin, you know, for all intents and purposes, is a good-looking guy. He could do the, um, the man in front of everybody else. He could be the guy in movies, but he's a comedian. So he, maybe he can't because of that, you know what I mean? It's hard to take him serious as one thing when he's done the other thing for so long. Um, Daniel Radcliffe is in here, uh, minus the, the wand, but he's still sort of, sort of, uh, you know, a little wizardly guy, you know, he's still kind of Harry Potter in this movie. He's like, what if Harry Potter grew up and was a little bit of a douche? This would be Harry Potter. So, Harry Potter's in the movie. Um... There's a few people, I mean. Jay Chow is in a movie who, I actually like that guy. If you remember, he was like, you know, the Kung Fu Hapsaki guy from the Green Hornet. Um, he was Kato. Pretty good. Um, he's, he's a musician, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. He's a musician who became an actor. Um, a lot of good actors in, in this movie. Uh, they didn't have a great deal to work with, I think. Um, if, you, if you just want to see a movie some explosions, some things happening, some fast moving parts, some great special effects, you got it. If you're looking for a good story, wait till next week, man. But, you know, that's, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. So if you liked the review, click my face down here at the bottom. Or look up under here. It should say subscribe in red letters up under this video. But right here, just click my face, man, and join. Subscribe and like. Or don't like. 